Each May, nearly a quarter of a million people from all over the world descend on Louisville, Kentucky for one reason, the Kentucky Derby. The Derby is a huge part of who we are. It's a huge part of our identity. It certainly is a strong revenue driver for the company. Then in October of the same year, a group of investors led by Louisville businessman Matt Wynn take over the failing operation. Wynn was such a larger than life figure. He was a Louisville clothier. He was a successful businessman. He was well connected politically, not really a horse racing person. Liked to place a bet now and then, but and he liked to bet on a long shot. And again, the track at that point, it was shaky ground and it was a bit of a long shot. Wynn takes the reins as vice president and within a year, turns Churchill Downs into a moneymaker. He was the first guy that actively recruited people at this point in time, it was primarily New York. He, he went there personally and got people to come. He said once, give me the five best reporters in New York and you can have the rest. Because he knew if he got those journalists down here to cover the event that everybody else would come. Each year, horse breeders from New York to California dream of creating the perfect racehorse. The one that will go all the way to Churchill Downs. While breeding horses is big business in states like New York and California, owning and breeding horses in Kentucky is an especially lucrative business. It brings in an estimated $4 billion every year. Winning the Kentucky Derby really makes that horse an extremely valuable commodity in the stallion market. It's probably the premier factor that people want in a stallion prospect as a Kentucky Derby winner. Typically, most racehorses retire from racing after three or four years. Then they're sent to a breeding farm to start their second career, known as standing at stud. For the next two decades, they're expected to mate with as many as 100 to 120 mares a year. Usually their libido is good much into their 20s, but about early 20s, mid 20s, their fertility starts to fall off. For some racehorses, the transition into their new lifestyle can be a challenging one. I think it's kind of like athletes retiring from a profession. Some of them handle it very well. Some horses have a lot of trouble, but once they figure out what their new life is, I think they're pretty happy with it. Who wouldn't love to have somebody bathe you, brush your hair, bring you girlfriends? It's quite a life. Three Chimneys Farm, a commercial breeding farm in central Kentucky, is home to such champions as 2004 Derby winner Smarty Jones and the late Triple Crown winner of 1977 Seattle Slough. The farm's newest resident and superstar is Derby winner Big Brown. I think most trainers are trainers because they love it. If you're going to get up every morning at 4 o'clock, 365 days of the year, you'd better love it. And I think it's more about having good horses and the life than it is about making a lot of money. One of the things is, is just let us get there. So it'll literally keep you awake at night worrying about getting there. There's a condition called derby fever. <laughs> Owners get it, trainers get it, we all get it. On a typical day, trainers give their horses a rigorous workout in the morning, give them a rest, and then do it all over again in the afternoon. 